Hello everyone, my name is Hun. When I was young, I was a student who hardly studies and liked to roam around with my friends, but ironically, I attended eight private academies per week. Why? I was living in Gangnam area, and that's how it's supposed to be in there. And one day, I heard my soul speaking to me. Hey Hun, are you living, are you gonna continue living this life? Isn't it meaningless? You need to have some change. And I thought to myself, okay, I ambitiously decided that I'm going abroad, outside of Korea. So I talked to my parents that I want to, please send me somewhere else. I want to broaden my perspective. And they were like, hmm, don't think about it. And after a few weeks, my mother said she's going on a trip without telling where she's going. She said it was her dream. And right after two weeks, there was one lady knocking to my house room and I was so surprised to see this woman. And it was my mother. Now I know this is the typical traditional clothes of India, which is sari. But at the time, I was like, mom, what are you wearing? And then she said, son, you're going to India. That's how I went to India when I was first year of middle school. And it was really culture shock to me because at that time I expected countries like United States, um, Canada, Australia, but India? What I only know about Indian culture was they have religious belief of worshipping cow and then the hand eating culture when they eat curry. So what I'm going to talk about is the culture differences. When, when someone dives into the different culture, based on my experience. And let me begin by, I cannot never forget how I felt when I take my first step into India. The exotic spices, the smell scenting to my nose, and the sounds of car horning and people shouting and also the decorated cows walking on the street and then bunch of men with the mustache glancing at me. Now I can say I was pretty much intimidated by the culture. At the time, without the emphasis, I felt it was a culture difference. So there are tons of articles and theses talking about the definition of the culture. But today, I'd like to refer what Confucius says. Even I believe that before whatever, what countries or what religious we are living, we react in certain ways in a certain situation. But the culture, the habit is the difference. And now I'd like to move on to how people react when someone dives into totally different culture. There are three ways. The first is confront. It's pretty much natural thing. When you go to a different country, you have some strange thing that you're not used to. For example, when I was in India, the food were different. The people were different. The culture were different. For example, their typical Indian nodding, which means Indian people use a lot of gesture. And which is also called Indian bobbling. It's like this. When they speak, they speak like this. Majority of them. So at that time, I was pretty much annoyed by it. For example, I told my teacher, can I go to the toilet? And teacher was like, <laughs> I thought it meant no. So I didn't go in. But she said, my son, why aren't you going? And she kept doing this. Uh, I felt annoyed, but as I opened my mind a little bit more and a little bit more, I find interesting. There's a beauty inside of it because the tilting side to side the meaning changes according to the context. It was really interesting. The complaint. Complaint happens when confront continues and it leads to animosity. It is the worst case. It is when someone blocks every single opportunity to experience the new thing. They form their own groups according to their race or beliefs. They block themselves and prevent having new experiences. For example, I see many of the Korean students forming their own unity 
in India without having Indian friends. It was like little India in Korea. And the last thing is the confirmed stage where you, where you take every single the beauty of the cultural differences and you enjoy it. You enjoy learning the new things. You learn from it, broaden your perspective. People ask, what is the good things about the confirmed? Can we not uh, experience the new things? But the answer is, first of all, you can broaden your perspective. And second of all, what is life? Life is all about telling the good stories to another people. So you, can, you may have tons of stories to tell when you experience new things. And the statistics also shows that the culture and differences enhances work performance. So according to the studies, the board having a oh, diverse culture performed 35% better compared to the one single culture. So people ask me how we can confirm. The answer is simple. It's not about what you see, it's about what you perceive. So do not ever let what you see dominate what you believe, what you think. Enjoy the differences. That's what I want to talk about today. Thank you.